Hello guys, and welcome back for another tech food. And firstly, I just want to say that I'm sorry for not doing a video in a while. I think it's been about a month, but the main reason behind this is because my computer ha has actually stopped working. And yeah, it, it, it is still actually not working, but um, that is the main reason behind it. And obviously because of um, other stuff like being busy and stuff and like school starting and stuff like that. But anyway, with that aside, let's get into the actual deck review itself. So today we're doing a review on the Madison Dealers deck. Okay, I did mention this in my previous deck review on the Madison Rounders deck. And yeah, so sorry this is a bit belated, but I've already told you why. So let's get into it. So it's a very nice deck, and I did pick this up from Davenport's, but unfortunately they don't put this deck on their website. I don't know why that is. But I will put a link down to Davenport's in the description, and I'll also put a link to uh, where you can get this deck at a good price. Okay, so let's start off with the actual box. So as you can see, it's a very simple front of the box, just white, and at the top you can see, in this kind of handwriting styled font, you can see Madison Dealers, and then below that have luxury playing cards. And then at the bottom you can see that it's got Daniel Madison's logo or emblem there. And all this is in green, it's quite a simple front of the box design. On one side it's just white, the bottom you've got copyright and the Illusionist logo, and on the other side it's just white as well. On the top it says Madison's Dealers, and underneath there you have the um, the Madison Dealer the Madison Dealer logo. Or Daniel Madison's logo, which is not too sure though. And yeah, that's also in green by the way. And here's the bad sign, we'll get some more information about that later on. And as you can see, it has a custom seal, which is very nice. And on it is basically, um, it has got the a spade pip design, which is white, and it basically says Madison's Dealers. Very similar to like here, obviously smaller, and so it can fit in the spade pip. And uh, yeah, it's also glossy, it's not like standard USB C seal, it's much glossier, and you can also see it when you actually get the deck. You can't really see it on camera though, but yeah, let's move on. On the tab here, you can see that it says DM, obviously Daniel Madison's initials. And on the flaps here, you can see that it says JL on one of them, and just blank on another. I'm not too sure what this means, but if you do know, please leave it in the comment section down below to tell me and other people watching this video, okay? And as you can see, it is white inside the box, okay? So here is the back design. It's very nice. As you can see, it is borderless. It does actually show this on the back of the box. I actually forgot to mention that. But um, it's very nice. And it basically, it is just Daniel Madison's logo just repeated loads of times on the back, like put uh, like close together. And it gives a really nice design, like from quite far away. It just looks like stars, kind of. But anyway, it was very nice. And we'll get into some details about this when we get into the handling, like the fan and stuff. So it looks great when this deck um, fans. But let's get into the cards which you actually get with this. You get two Jokers. I very much like these Jokers. If you saw the Madison Rounders deck, this kind of links into it, kind of. And yeah, there'll be a link on the screen somewhere to the, that deck review and in the description. But anyway, um, as you can see it just says Joker here, on the bottom you can see there's a dead crow, and on the previous, on the Madison's Rounders deck, there is a crow just standing there on a cutthroat razor, so, um, by the looks of it, he cut his throat, somehow. But yeah, these are two Jokers, and if you look closely on this one, you'll see something um, special kind of, but um, I'll leave that for you to see, which is pretty clear to what it is. But yeah, so these are great jokers, very detailed, you can see the feathers nicely on there. And let's move on to the other two cards which you get with this deck. You get a double backer, pretty standard nowadays with decks. Not much to go over that though. And you get a, a Madison an Illusionist or Madison Dealers um, ad card. It's very nice and it's quite nice design on it, just for an ad card. You can read that if you want, you can pause the video. And yeah, this has the bat sign on it, of course. And yeah, those are the extra cards, and let's get into the actual cards you get with the deck. So here's the Ace of Spades. Very simple. So as you can see in the center, you've got this like standard spade pip design. And then you've basically got the back design kind of um, repeated 
like copied over into the spade pip obviously in the shape of a spade pip um, just in black this time instead of green and below that I have Madison's Dealers and then underneath that in quite small text you have the Illusionist Playing Card Company not too sure if you can see that but there it is and also the indexes are also standard and the pip cards are also standard and when you hit the core cards you'll notice that these are different as well uh, the reds are darker and um, the faces also different the, these people are actually real on the core cards these are people that Daniel Madison actually knows um, maybe his other ma other magicians he knows, his friends and stuff like that don't actually know who they are um, so if you do know any please leave them in the comments section below like say the card and then the person who it is but I do know two people um, who two people are in this deck I will tell you who they are um, when we get some obviously so the red cards are slightly darker than um, usual not too dark though it was quite a nice red though so here are they again and um, this one is the one, one which I know this one is Daniel Madison himself uh, I don't know if this is his favourite card or what but um, yeah you just go look at that and yeah also there's a cross on his hand up here and does actually have a cross tattooed onto his hand which is um, kind of a giveaway to show that this is actually him so moving on also this is um, Laura London she's a, um, a British magician and so she also got features into this deck okay just continue through and there you go so clearly um, this the designs are, um, the designs have been thought out quite a lot to get the um, designs which you can see here so yeah let's get into the actual handle of this deck so this deck handles great great handling and goes with the design really good so let's start with the fanning so fans great you see that the design carries through and looks really great especially with the borderless back design okay and we'll just do it from the front so you can see the indexes depends on your skill really but but it ruffle shuffles nice and smoothly and cuts nicely as well spreads nicely and flips also goes very well with the borders back design as it like kind of just spreads through and yeah and dribbles nicely as well so I really like this back design. It's very nice. I think it's like I like back designs much more, like borderless back designs. Sorry, much more after seeing this deck. And yeah, like the vintage plaid decks by Dan and Dave. I will be getting those very soon, soon, and we'll be doing a deck review of both of those. All because of this deck. It's a very nice deck. So go pick this up. There'll be a link in the description below too, where you can get this deck and to Davenport's and yeah so that'll be it all for today guys I do hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope you go pick up this deck and go check out the Madison Rounders deck review and pick that up as well because they are both really great decks and yeah so this has been a review on the Madison Rounders no dealers sorry Madison dealers deck and yeah high recommend this deck go pick it up there will be a link in the description below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.